Linear time invariant theory, commonly known as LTI system theory, comes from applied mathematics and has direct applications in NMR spectroscopy, seismology, circuits, signal processing, control theory, and other technical areas. It investigates the response of a linear and time invariant system to an arbitrary input signal. Trajectories of these systems are commonly measured and tracked as they move through time e.g., an acoustic waveform, but in applications like image processing and field theory, the LTI systems also have trajectories in spatial dimensions. Thus, these systems are also called linear translation invariant to give the theory the most general reach. In the case of generic discrete time i.e. sampled systems linear shift invariant is the corresponding term a good example of lti systems are electrical circuits that can be made up of resistors capacitors and inductors topic <inaudible> overview <inaudible> The defining properties of any LTI system are linearity and time invariance. Linearity means that the relationship between the input and the output of the system is a linear map, if input x 1 t produces response y 1 T display style y underscore one t an input x two t display style x underscore two t produces response y two t display style y underscore two t then the scaled and summed input a one x one t plus a two x two t display style a underscore one x underscore one t plus a underscore two x underscore two t Produces the scaled and summed response a one y one t plus a two y two t display style a underscore 1 y underscore 1 T plus a underscore 2 y underscore 2 T where a 1 display style a underscore 1 and a 2 display style a underscore 2 are real scalars it follows that this can be extended to an arbitrary number of terms, and so for real numbers c 1 c 2 c k display style c underscore 1 c underscore 2 l dots c underscore k input k C K X K T display style sum underscore K C underscore K X underscore K T produces output K C K Y K T Display style sum underscore k c underscore k y underscore k t. In particular, where c omega display style c underscore omega 
and x omega display style x underscore omega are scalars and inputs that vary over a continuum indexed by omega display style omega thus if an input function can be represented by a continuum of input functions combined linearly as shown, then the corresponding output function can be represented by the corresponding continuum of output functions, scaled and summed in the same way. Time invariance means that whether we apply an input to the system now or t seconds from now, the output will be identical except for a time delay of t seconds. That is, if the output due to input x t display style x t is y t display style y t then the output due to input x t minus t display style x t t is y t Minus t display style y t t. Hence, the system is time invariant because the output does not depend on the particular time the input is applied. The fundamental result in LTI system theory is that any LTI system can be characterized entirely by a single function called the system's impulse response. The output of the system is simply the convolution of the input to the system with the system's impulse response. This method of analysis is often called the time domain point of view. The same result is true of discrete time linear shift invariant systems in which signals are discrete time samples, and convolution is defined on sequences. Equivalently, any LTI system can be characterized in the frequency domain by the system's transfer function, which is the Laplace transform of the system's impulse response or Z transform in the case of discrete time systems. As a result of the properties of these transforms, the output of the system in the frequency domain is the product of the transfer function and the transform of the input. In other words, convolution in the time domain is equivalent to multiplication in the frequency domain. For all LTI systems, the eigenfunctions, and the basis functions of the transforms, are complex exponentials. This is, if the input to a system is the complex waveform A S E S T display style a underscore south east caret street for some complex amplitude a s display style a underscore s and complex frequency s display style s the output will be some complex constant times the input say b s E S T display style b underscore south east caret street for some new complex amplitude b S display style b underscore S the ratio b S A S Display style b underscore s a underscore s is the transfer function at frequency s. Display style s. Since sinusoids are a sum of complex exponentials with complex conjugate frequencies, if the input to the system is a sinusoid, then the output of the system will also be a sinusoid, perhaps with a different amplitude and a different phase, but always with the same frequency upon reaching steady state. LTI systems cannot produce frequency components that are not in the input. 
LTI system theory is good at describing many important systems. Most LTI systems are considered easy to analyze, at least compared to the time-varying and or nonlinear case. Any system that can be modeled as a linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients is an LTI system. Examples of such systems are electrical circuits made up of resistors, inductors, and capacitors RLC circuits. Ideal spring mass damper systems are also LTI systems, and are mathematically equivalent to RLC circuits. Most LTI system concepts are similar between the continuous time and discrete time linear shift invariant cases. In image processing, the time variable is replaced with two space variables, and the notion of time invariance is replaced by two-dimensional shift invariance. When analyzing filter banks and MIMO systems, it is often useful to consider vectors of signals. A linear system that is not time invariant can be solved using other approaches such as the green function method. The same method must be used when the initial conditions of the problem are not null. Topic: Continuous time systems. Topic: Impulse response and convolution. The behavior of a linear, continuous time, time invariant system with input signal x t and output signal y t is described by the convolution integral where h t is the system's response to an impulse x tau equals Delta tau display style text style x tau equals delta tau y t display style text style y t is therefore proportional to a weighted average of the input function x tau display style text style x tau the weighting function is h minus tau display style text style h tau simply shifted by amount t display style text style t as t display style text style t changes the weighting function emphasizes different parts of the input function when h tau display style text style h tau is zero for all negative tau display style text style tau y t display style text style y t depends only on values of x display style text style x prior to time t display style text style t and the system is said to be causal to understand why the convolution produces the output of an lti system let the notation x u Minus tau u display style text style x u tau u represent the function x u minus tau display style text style x u tau with variable u display style text style u and constant tau display style text style tau and let the shorter notation 
x display style text style x represent x u u display style text style x u u then a continuous time system transforms an input function x display style text style x into an output function y display style text style y and in general every value of the output can depend on every value of the input this concept is represented by y t equals def o t x display style y t stackrel text def equals o underscore t x where o t display style text style o underscore t is the transformation operator for time t display style text style t in a typical system y t display style text style y t depends most heavily on the values of x display style text style x that occurred near time t display style text style t unless the transform itself changes with t display style text style t the output function is just constant and the system is uninteresting for a linear system o display style text style o must satisfy eq 1 and the time invariance requirement is in this notation we can write the impulse response as h t equals def o t delta u u display style text style h t stackrel text def equals o underscore t delta u u Similarly, substituting this result into the convolution integral, x h t equals minus infinity infinity x tau h t minus tau d tau equals minus infinity infinity x tau o t delta u minus tau u d tau. Display style begin aligned x asterisk h t and equals int limits underscore in a t caret in a t x tau c d Doth t tau mathrm d tau four p t and equals int limits underscore in a t caret in a t x tau c d o t o underscore t delta u tau u mathrm d tau end aligned, which has the form of the right side of E Q two for the case c tau equals x tau display style text style c underscore tau equals x tau and x tau u equals delta u minus tau Display style text style x underscore tau u equals delta u tau e q two then allows this continuation x h t equals o t minus infinity infinity x Tau delta u minus tau d tau 
u equals o t x u u equals def y t dot Display style begin aligned x asterisk h t and equals o underscore t left int limits underscore in a t caret in a t x tau c d o t delta u tau mathrm d tau u right and equals o underscore t left x u u right and stackrel text def equals y t end aligned. In summary, the input function x display style text style x can be represented by a continuum of time shifted impulse functions combined linearly as shown at eq.1 the system's linearity property allows the system's response to be represented by the corresponding continuum of impulse responses combined in the same way and the time invariance property allows that combination to be represented by the convolution integral. The mathematical operations above have a simple graphical simulation. Exponentials as eigenfunctions An eigenfunction is a function for which the output of the operator is a scaled version of the same function. That is, h f equals lambda f. Display style math call h f equals lambda f, where f is the eigenfunction and lambda display style lambda is the eigenvalue a constant the exponential functions a e s t display style a caret street where a s element of c Display style a s in math b c are eigenfunctions of a linear time invariant operator. A simple proof illustrates this concept. Suppose the input is x t equals a e s t. Display style x t equals a caret street. The output of the system with impulse response h t display style h t is then minus infinity infinity h t minus tau a e s tau d tau display style int underscore in a t caret in a t h t tau a caret s tau operator name d tau, which by the commutative property of convolution is equivalent to minus infinity. Infinity H Tau A E S T minus Tau D Tau H F equals minus Infinity Infinity H tau a e s t e minus s tau d tau equals a e s 
T minus infinity infinity H tau E minus S tau D tau equals A E S T input FHS scalar lambda display style begin aligned over brace in underscore in a t caret in a t h tau a caret s t tau operator name d tau caret math call h f and equals in underscore in a t caret in a t h tau a caret street e caret s tau operator name d tau and equals a caret street in underscore in a T carrot in a T H tau E carrot S tau operator name D tau and equals overbrace underbrace A carrot street underscore text input carrot F overbrace underbrace H's underscore text scalar carrot lambda and aligned where the scalar H S equals def minus infinity infinity H T E minus S T D T display style H's stack Text def equals int underscore in a t carrot in a t h t east carrot street operator name d t is dependent only on the parameter s. So the system's response is a scaled version of the input. In particular, for any a s element of c. Display style a s in math b c. The system output is the product of the input a e s t. Display style a caret street and the constant h s. Display style h s. Hence a E S T display style a caret street is an eigenfunction of an LTI system, and the corresponding eigenvalue is H S display style H S. Topic: Direct proof. It is also possible to directly derive complex exponentials as eigenfunctions of LTI systems. Let's set V T equals E I Omega T display style V T equals E caret I Omega T some complex exponential and v a t equals e i omega t plus a display style v underscore a t equals e caret i omega t plus a a time shifted version of it h v a t equals e i omega a h v t display style h v underscore a t equals e caret i omega a h v t by linearity with respect to the constant e i omega a display style e caret i omega a h v a t equals h v t plus 
a display style h v underscore a t equals h v t plus a by time invariance of h display style h so h v t plus a equals e i omega a h v t display style h v t plus a equals e caret i omega a h v t setting t equals zero display style t equals zero and renaming we get h v tau equals e i omega tau h v 0 display style h v tau equals e caret i omega tau h v 0 i e that a complex exponential e i omega tau display style e caret i omega tau as input will give a complex exponential of same frequency as output topic fourier and laplace transforms The eigenfunction property of exponentials is very useful for both analysis and insight into LTI systems. The Laplace transform H S equals def L H T equals def minus infinity infinity h t e minus s t d t display style h's stackrel text def equals math call l h t stackrel text def equals int underscore in a t caret in a t h t east caret street operator name d t is exactly the way to get the eigenvalues from the impulse response. Of particular interest are pure sinusoids, i.e., exponential functions of the form. E J Omega T Display style E carrot J Omega T where Omega element of R Display style Omega in Math B R and J equals Def Minus one display style j stackrel text def equals sqrt minus one. These are generally called complex exponentials, even though the argument is purely imaginary. The Fourier transform h j omega equals f h t display style h j omega equals math call f h t gives the eigenvalues for pure complex sinusoids both of h s display style h s and h j omega Display style h j omega are called the system function, system response, or transfer function. 
The Laplace transform is usually used in the context of one-sided signals, i.e. signals that are zero for all values of t less than some value. Usually, this start time is set to zero, for convenience and without loss of generality, with the transform integral being taken from zero to infinity the transform shown above with lower limit of integration of negative infinity is formally known as the bilateral Laplace transform. The Fourier transform is used for analyzing systems that process signals that are infinite in extent, such as modulated sinusoids, even though it cannot be directly applied to input and output signals that are not square integrable. The Laplace transform actually works directly for these signals if they are zero before a start time, even if they are not square integrable, for stable systems. The Fourier transform is often applied to spectra of infinite signals via the wiener kinchin theorem even when Fourier transforms of the signals do not exist. Due to the convolution property of both of these transforms, the convolution that gives the output of the system can be transformed to a multiplication in the transform domain, given signals for which the transforms exist. Why? T equals H X T equals def minus infinity infinity H T minus tau X tau D tau equals def l minus 1 h s x s Display style y t equals h asterisk x t stackrel text def equals int underscore in f t caret in f t h t tau x tau operator name d tau stackrel text def equals math call l caret minus one h s x's not only is it often easier to do the transforms, multiplication, and inverse transform than the original convolution, but one can also gain insight into the behavior of the system from the system response. One can look at the modulus of the system function, h's, to see whether the input exp s t street is passed let through the system or rejected or attenuated by the system not let through topic <laughs> examples a simple example of an lti operator is the derivative d d t c 1 x 1 t plus c 2 x 2 t equals c 1 x 1 t plus c 2 x 2 t display style frac operator name d operator name d t left c underscore 1 x underscore 1 t plus c underscore 2 x underscore 2 t right equals c underscore 1 x underscore 1 t plus c underscore 2 x underscore 2 t ie it is linear d d t x t minus tau equals x 
T minus tau display style frac operator name d operator name d t x t tau equals x t tau i e it is time invariant when the laplace transform of the derivative is taken it transforms to a simple multiplication by the laplace variable s l d d t x t equals s x s display style math call l left frac operator name d operator name d t x t right equals s x s that the derivative has such a simple Laplace transform partly explains the utility of the transform. Another simple LTI operator is an averaging operator A x t equals def t minus A t plus a x lambda d lambda display style math call a left x t right stackrel text def equals int underscore t a caret t plus a x lambda operator name d lambda by the linearity of integration a c one x one t plus c two x two t equals t minus a t plus a c one x one lambda plus c two x two lambda d lambda equals c one t minus a T plus A X one Lambda D Lambda plus C two T minus A T plus A X Two Lambda D Lambda equals C one A X one T plus C two A X two T D Display style begin aligned math call A C underscore one x underscore one T plus C underscore two x underscore two T and equals int underscore T A carrot T plus A C underscore one x underscore one Lambda plus C underscore two x underscore two Lambda operator name D Lambda and equals C underscore one int underscore T A carrot T plus A x underscore one lambda operator name d lambda plus c underscore two int underscore t a carrot t plus a x underscore two lambda operator name d lambda and equals c underscore one math call a x underscore one t plus c underscore two math call a x underscore two t end aligned it is linear. 
Additionally, because a x t minus tau equals t minus a t plus a x lambda minus tau d lambda equals t minus tau minus a t minus tau plus a x she d she equals a x t minus tau Display style begin aligned math call a left x t tau re g h t and equals int underscore t a caret t plus a x lambda tau operator name d lambda and equals int underscore t tau a caret t tau plus a x she operator name d she and equals math call a x t tau end aligned it is time invariant. In fact, a display style math call a can be written as a convolution with the boxcar function pi t display style pi t. That is, a x t equals minus infinity infinity pi lambda minus t two a x lambda d lambda display style math call a left x t right equals int underscore in a t caret in a t pi left frac lambda t two a right x lambda operator name d lambda where the boxcar function pi t equals def one if t one two zero if t greater than one two display style pi t stackrel text def equals begin cases one and text if t frac one two end cases. Topic: Important system properties. Some of the most important properties of a system are causality and stability. Causality is a necessity if the independent variable is time, but not all systems have time as an independent variable. For example, a system that processes still images does not need to be causal. Non-causal systems can be built and can be useful in many circumstances. Even non-real systems can be built and are very useful in many contexts. Topic causality A system is causal if the output depends only on present and past, but not future inputs. A necessary and sufficient condition for causality is H t equals 0 t 0, display style H t equals 0, quad for all t where H t display style H t is the impulse response. It is not possible in general to determine causality from the Laplace transform, because the inverse transform is not unique. When a region of convergence is specified, then causality can be determined. Topic stability A system is bounded input, bounded output stable, Bebo stable if, for every bounded input, the output is finite. Mathematically, if every input satisfying x t infinity infinity display style x t underscore in a t leads to an output satisfying y t infinity infinity display style y t underscore in a t that is a finite maximum absolute value of x t display style x t implies a finite maximum absolute value of y t display style y t, then the system is stable. 
a necessary and sufficient condition is that H T display style H T the impulse response is in L1 has a finite L1 norm H T 1 equals minus infinity infinity H T d T infinity display style H T underscore 1 equals int underscore in a T carrot in a T H T operator name d T in the frequency domain the region of Convergence must contain the imaginary axis S equals J omega. Display style S equals J omega. As an example, the ideal low-pass filter with impulse response equal to a sinc function is not Bebo stable because the sinc function does not have a finite L1 norm. Thus, for some bounded input, the output of the ideal low-pass filter is unbounded. In particular, if the input is zero for t zero, display style t and equal to a sinusoid at the cutoff frequency for t greater than zero, display style t greater than zero, then the output will be unbounded for all times other than the zero crossings. Topic: <laughs> Discrete time systems. Almost everything in continuous time systems has a counterpart in discrete time systems. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Discrete time systems from continuous time systems. In many contexts, a discrete time (DT) system is really part of a larger continuous time (CT) system. For example, a digital recording system takes an analog sound, digitizes it, possibly processes the digital signals, and plays back an analog sound for people to listen to. Formally, the DT signals studied are almost always uniformly sampled versions of CT signals. If x t display style x t is a CT signal, then an analog to digital converter will transform it to the DT signal X N equals def X N T N element of Z Display style x n stackrel text def equals x n t q quad for all n in math b z, where t is the sampling period. It is very important to limit the range of frequencies in the input signal for faithful representation in the dt signal, since then the sampling theorem guarantees that no information about the ct signal is lost. A DT signal can only contain a frequency range of 1 2 t display style 1 2 t other frequencies are alias to the same range topic <laughs> impulse response and convolution let X M minus K M display style X M K M represent the sequence X M minus K for all integer values of M display style x m k text for all integer values of m and let the shorter notation x display style x represent x m m display style x m m a discrete system transforms an input sequence x display style x into an output sequence y display style y 
In general, every element of the output can depend on every element of the input. Representing the transformation operator by O style O, we can write Y N equals Def O N X Displacedyle Y N stackrel text def equals O underscore N X Note that unless the transform itself changes with n, the output sequence is just constant, and the system is uninteresting. Thus the subscript, n, in a typical system, y n, depends most heavily on the elements of x whose indices are near n. For the special case of the Kronecker delta function x m equals delta M display style x m equals delta m. The output sequence is the impulse response. H n equals def o n delta m m. Display style h n stackrel text def equals o underscore n delta m m for a linear system o display style o must satisfy and the time invariance requirement is in such a system the impulse response h display style h characterizes the system completely. i.e., for any input sequence, the output sequence can be calculated in terms of the input and the impulse response. To see how that is done, consider the identity x m k equals minus infinity infinity x K delta M minus K display style x M equiv sum underscore K equals in a T carrot in a T x K C D O T delta M K which expresses x display style x in terms of a sum of weighted delta functions therefore y n equals o n x equals o n k equals minus infinity infinity x k delta m minus k m equals k equals minus infinity infinity x k o N delta M minus K M display style begin aligned Y N equals O underscore N X and equals O underscore N left sum underscore K equals in a T carrot in a T X K C D O T delta M K M right and equals sum underscore K equals in a T carrot in a T X K C D O T O underscore N delta M K M end aligned where we have invoked EQ point four for the case C K equals X K 
display style c underscore k equals x k and x k m equals delta m minus k display style x underscore k m equals delta m k and because of eq Five. We may write O n delta m minus k m equals O n minus k delta m m equals def h n minus k. Display style begin aligned O underscore n delta m k m and stackrel quad equals O underscore n k delta m m and stackrel text def equals h n k end aligned. Therefore, which is the familiar discrete convolution formula the operator on display style o underscore n can therefore be interpreted as proportional to a weighted average of the function x k the weighting function is h k simply shifted by amount n as n changes the weighting function emphasizes different parts of the input function Equivalently, the system's response to an impulse at n equals zero is a time reversed copy of the unshifted weighting function. When h k is zero for all negative k, the system is said to be causal. Topic: <laughs> Exponentials as eigenfunctions. An eigenfunction is a function for which the output of the operator is the same function, scaled by some constant. In symbols, h f equals lambda f. Display style math call h f equals lambda f, where f is the eigenfunction and lambda. Display style lambda is the eigenvalue, a constant. The exponential functions z n equals e s t n display style z caret n equals e caret s t n, where n element of z display style n in math b z are eigenfunctions of a linear time invariant operator t element of r display style t in math b r is the sampling interval and z equals e S T Z S element of C display style Z equals East caret Street Z S in Math B C. A simple proof illustrates this concept. Suppose the input is x n equals Z n display style x n equals z caret n. The output of the system with impulse response h n display style h n is then m equals minus infinity infinity h n minus m z m display style sum underscore m equals in a t caret in a t h n m z caret m which is equivalent to the following by the commutative property of convolution m equals minus infinity infinity h m z n minus m equals z n m 
equals minus infinity infinity h m z minus m equals z n h z Display style sum underscore m equals in t caret in t h m z caret n m equals z caret n sum underscore m equals in t caret in t h m z caret m equals z caret n h z where h z equals def m equals minus infinity infinity h m z minus m Display style h z stackrel text def equals sum underscore m equals in t caret in t h m z caret m is dependent only on the parameter z. So z n display style z caret n is an eigenfunction of an LTI system because the system response is the same as the input times the constant h z display style h z topic z and discrete time fourier transforms The eigenfunction property of exponentials is very useful for both analysis and insight into LTI systems. The Z transform H Z equals Z H N equals N equals minus infinity infinity h n z minus n display style h z equals math call z h n equals sum underscore n equals in a t caret in a t h n z caret n is exactly the way to get the eigenvalues from the impulse response. Of particular interest are pure sinusoids, i.e. exponentials of the form E J omega n displaystyle E caret J omega n, where omega element of R Display style omega in math b r. These can also be written as z n display style z caret n with z equals e j omega display style z equals e caret j omega. These are generally called complex exponentials even though the argument is purely imaginary. The discrete time Fourier transform DTFT H E J omega equals F H N Display style h e caret j omega equals math call f h n gives the eigenvalues of pure sinusoids, both of h z display style h z and h e j omega. Display style h e caret j omega 
are called the system function, system response, or transfer function. The Z transform is usually used in the context of one sided signals, i.e., signals that are zero for all values of t less than some value. Usually, this start time is set to zero, for convenience and without loss of generality. The Fourier transform is used for analyzing signals that are infinite in extent. Due to the convolution property of both of these transforms, the convolution that gives the output of the system can be transformed to a multiplication in the transform domain. That is y n equals h x n equals m equals Minus infinity infinity H N minus M X M equals Z minus one H Z X Z Display style y n equals h asterisk x n equals sum underscore m equals in a t caret in a t h n m x m equals math call z caret minus one h z x z just as with the Laplace transform transfer function in continuous time system analysis, the Z transform makes it easier to analyze systems and gain insight into their behavior. One can look at the modulus of the system function, H Z, to see whether the input Z n is passed let through by the system or rejected or attenuated by the system not let through topic examples a simple example of an lti operator is the delay operator d x n equals Def x n minus one display style dx n stackrel text def equals x n one d c one x one n plus c Two x two n equals c one x one n minus one plus c two x two n Minus one equals C one D X one N plus C two D X two N Display style D left C underscore one C D O T X underscore one N plus C underscore two C D O T X underscore two N right equals C underscore one C D O T X underscore one N one plus C underscore two C D O T X underscore two N one equals C underscore one C D O T D X underscore one N plus C underscore two C D O T D X underscore two N I E It is linear D X N 
minus m equals x n minus m minus 1 equals x n minus 1 minus m equals d x n minus m Display style d x n m equals x n m one equals x n one m equals d x n m. I e, it is time invariant. The z transform of the delay operator is a simple multiplication by z minus one. That is, z d x n equals Z minus one x Z display style math call Z left d x n right equals Z caret minus one x Z. Another simple LTI operator is the averaging operator a x n equals Def k equals n minus a n plus a x k display style math call a left x n right stackrel text def equals sum underscore k equals n a caret n plus a x k because of the linearity of sums a c one x one n plus c Two x two n equals k equals n minus a n plus a c one x one k plus c 2 x 2 k equals c 1 k equals n minus a n plus a x 1 k plus c 2 k equals n minus a n plus a x 2 k equals c 1 a x 1 n plus c 2 a x 2 n display style begin aligned math call a left c underscore 1 x underscore 1 n plus c underscore 2 x underscore 2 n right and equals sum underscore k equals n a caret n plus a left c underscore 1 x underscore 1 k plus c underscore 2 x underscore 2 k right and equals c underscore 1 
sum underscore k equals n a carrot n plus a x underscore one k plus c underscore two sum underscore k equals n a carrot n plus a x underscore two k and equals c underscore one math call a left x underscore one n right plus c underscore two math call a left x underscore two n right end aligned and so it is linear because a x n minus m equals k equals n minus a n plus a x k minus m equals k equals n minus m minus a n minus m plus a x k equals a x n minus m Display style begin aligned math call a left x n m right and equals sum underscore k equals n a carrot n plus a x k m and equals sum underscore k equals n m a carrot n m plus a x k and equals math call a left x right n m end aligned. It is also time invariant. Important system properties The input-output characteristics of discrete-time LTI system are completely described by its impulse response H n Some of the most important properties of a system are causality and stability. Unlike CT systems, non-causal DT systems can be realized. It is trivial to make an a-causal fur system causal by adding delays. It is even possible to make a-causal IIR systems. Non-stable systems can be built and can be useful in many circumstances. Even non-real systems can be built and are very useful in many contexts. Topic causality A discrete time LTI system is causal if the current value of the output depends on only the current value and past values of the input. A necessary and sufficient condition for causality is H n equals zero n zero. Display style H n equals zero for all n where H n display style H n is the impulse response. It is not possible in general to determine causality from the Z transform, because the inverse transform is not unique. When a region of convergence is specified, then causality can be determined. Topic stability A system is bounded input, bounded output stable, Bebo stable if, for every bounded input, the output is finite. Mathematically, if x n infinity infinity display style x n underscore infinity t implies that y n infinity infinity display style y n underscore infinity t that is, if bounded input implies bounded output in the sense that the maximum absolute values of x n display style x n and y n display style y n are finite, then the system is stable. A necessary and sufficient condition is that H n display style H n, the impulse response, satisfies H n one equals def n equals minus infinity infinity H n infinity. 
Display style H N underscore one stackrel text def equals sum underscore N equals in a T carrot in a T H N in the frequency domain, the region of convergence must contain the unit circle, i.e., the locus satisfying Z equals one display style Z equals one for complex Z. Topic Notes Topic See also Circulant matrix Frequency response Impulse response System analysis Green function Signal flow graph <laughs>